Welcome back guys, it's Kids Coding Playground here, and today we're going to work on another video called Tree Simulator. So this is another um, game, which is um, simply easy, really easy. Um, so in this Tree Simulator game, today, to, today in this tutorial we are learning these concepts in Scratch. Cloning, loops, and when stage clicked. So this is a setup, you can use that. Right here, the setup, the trees, backdrop. Okay, so let's get to the game. I'm gonna show you the demo. As you can see, you can plant trees wherever. And then you have to pick random trees and also pick random size. And it dies later as it falls down. That's basically the game. So let's make a new project. So it's fairly easy. Um, let's get the tree sprite. So we can tree, we got tree one, and we also got trees. So the background, we also need, uh, we can change the backdrop. Uh, we can do this forest, cause it's in a, um, in like a forest, yeah, cause that's where all the trees are. So the backdrop has to have code. The backdrop is when the stage is clicked, cause that's where you spawn the tree wherever you go. And then you need an if then else statement, cause it's a pick random. It will, you need an equals right here. Let's zoom in. Pick random one, two, two, so because there's only two trees. So when I create the clone of, if it's number one, it creates the clone of tree one, else it'll create the clone of trees or tree two. So tree one and tree two have the same code. So let's, when you always start out with a thing, we're gonna make a hide. Um, and then when I start as a clone, cause that's when they start um, spawning, um, it will show. It'll go to wherever your mouse is. So it's actually go to X, mouse X, cause that's where your mouse is, and mouse Y, cause it's the uh, right where your mouse is and where you click. So we can set the size to 10% because it's really big right now. Um, repeat, we need a repeat, a repeat loop. This thing will tell you it'll pick random the size. So it'll be pick random size from five to 10. So the five and 10 is to repeat number of times of how big it's gonna be. So you need to change size by 10, 10. And then you gotta, let's make it wait five seconds and we can make it repeat nine times. So this is when it dies. So we can make it repeat nine times and turn this way fifth, uh, 10 degrees. You can do 90 degrees, but it looks less animated. So we can use that. Um, so it's really simple. So we can save now. We can also change the name tree. And you can try it out. Let's try it out. You also have to duplicate this to the other tree. What well, is basically, you just, I think it's actually too big. So we can take this to the other tree and this to the other tree. Oh, it doesn't have it. Okay, we can put this right here. There it goes. So I'll pick random, it's just the same code. You can see it just grows random trees. I 
found a bug inside the code. So actually, I forgot to change this. It's actually supposed to be one because all the times it'll be um a certain type of trees. But now it'll be all different types of trees in all different sizes. So as you can see, they flip over when they die. And that's how you make it. Thank you for um, watching this and please like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.